Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Chris, and today I want to talk to you about indoor voice dialogue microphones, more specifically about pencil type microphones, and also they are known as small condenser type microphones. This is specifically because I want to upgrade the audio in my studio here, and especially I don't want to always use this here which is the VideoMic NTG from Rode, and it needs a battery to be charged. And I really don't like charging things when I'm using them in the studio, making sure that it has enough energy for a video shoot and doesn't cut out in the middle of everything. So I wanna get a mic up there that can be powered by phantom power, which I will be sending from the Zoom F6 to it so that it is nice and steady. Now, most commonly in this scenario and in this use case of overhead mounting a microphone, people are referring to shotgun microphones. However, I've seen more and more YouTubers mention that those might not be the smartest choice for indoor voice dialogue because they can take up a lot of the reverberance of a room. And instead, it is much better to use a small condenser type microphone for this indoor voice dialogue recording that we are doing in a studio setting like this. Now, of course, you could just use a microphone you already own, and that would work wonders if you just put it closer to yourself, as I have done here with this overhead mounting rig here. However, the problem persists that you still have a battery to charge, at least if you're using a battery-powered microphone, and for myself, I want a microphone that can be mounted there pretty much forever and not really be moved around. And the Rode VideoMic NTG, for me, it's more of my on-camera microphone that I want to use when I carry around the camera when I'm vlog style doing stuff and such things. Now, while I was looking at different types of small condenser microphones, I looked at the one that's getting mentioned a lot, made in Russia, the Octava MK012, and also looking at others, because of course there's tons of them on the market. Now, what I got really intrigued by is that there are actually microphones on the market that are for a pair of microphones. So you get two of them in one box and you can get that for as low as 40 to 50 euros. And that's probably the same in US dollars or at least pretty close to that. Now, to me, this sounds pretty impossible to make two microphones for the price of just under 50 euros. So I thought to myself, I need to test those against more expensive microphones. And so I got myself a set of four different microphones, all in different price points, and I'm going to compare those in different videos for you so that you get a feeling of what those microphones might offer you and what they don't. Finally, I'm also going to give you my thoughts about which microphone I'm choosing and also how they overall stack against each other in terms of price versus quality, as well as just overall sound and those things. Now I'm going to do this in a video series because it's just too much information for one video and you might not be interested in all of the information. However, if you just want information about one of these microphones, you can find the link to a playlist where I have those videos that I'm talking about here specifically listed so that you can look at the microphone that interests you the most or the comparison that's going to come online in a couple of days from now. Now in this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of which microphones I am going to be comparing and how they are kind of fitting together. Then in the next four videos, we are going to basically give a review to each individual microphone, what comes in the box, how does it sound, and how does it perform. And then in the sixth video in this series, I'm going to do the conclusion of which microphone I'm going to get and also how they overall stack against each other. But now let's take a look at the microphones that I'm choosing for this comparison, starting with this little black box right here. And as we open this up, what you can see actually is that you get two microphones here in the box. You get two foam screens as well as a bracket so you can stereo mount both of these microphones and you get the microphone holders here. This microphone set is the Behringer C2. And this, generally speaking, comes with a low cut filter and a minus 10 dB pad. It has a hypercardioid capsule and the whole kit here costs around 40 euros. With that, this is the cheapest kit that we are going to be looking at. Then going from there, we have the second most expensive set. This is made by Newer. I have looked at their LED lights and things like that. Uh, and I didn't even know that they would make microphones as well. And from them, we have this microphone set, which is the newer NW410. 
And this is really an impressive step because what you actually get in the box here, when I show you this right there, you get two foam screens, you get the holders, you get two microphones, and for each microphone, you also get in total three capsules. So there are six capsules, two microphone bodies, and everything that you see in this box here, which basically means you have an omnidirectional capsule, you have a hypercardioid capsule, and a cardioid capsule for each microphone body, and you can switch those out by screwing them off and onto the microphone. This is really an incredibly versatile set, and this set is sold for about 66 to 67 euros, so it's probably going to be under 100 US dollars, and that is just absolutely mind-boggling to think that one of these microphones with three capsules basically costs around 33, maybe 40 euros, and you get two of these for the price of the whole kit. So we are going to look at how this compares to the Behringer, but we are also going to compare it to something that is a in-house basically brand of Thoman, which is a German company uh, kind of close to where I live. And they are making this set right here, which is also really impressive because again, you get two microphones, in this case, the T-Bone SC140. And this comes with one capsule per body, and they are cardioid capsules. And then you also get this bracket right here to mounting them in a stereo position. Two foam balls, as well as these mounting spiders, basically, so that it is more shock absorbently mounted. This is also quite impressive for a stereo set. And of course, you also get the case here, which is the case for all of those. The cases are included in the prices. And this set right here costs around 110 euros. And last but not least, all of this is going to be stacked up against this little guy here. This wooden box contains the Octava MK012. And I've seen quite a bit of talk about this specific microphone. And this here is a set which comes with a cardioid, hypercardioid, and omnidirectional capsule. It also comes with a minus 10 dB pad, a holder, and of course, the microphone body. Now, as you can see, this does not include a lot of the things that the other sets have. This is also just one microphone. The reason being that this here costs more than all of the three other sets together. So this is kind of like a mid-tier price for a small condenser type microphone with three capsules. There's also one more cheaper option of this, which is the movie set, which is only the body and the holder with a hypercardioid capsule. But I wanted to also have the at least cardioid capsule for different purposes and also different rooms and such things. So this is a set for about 250, 280 euros. And if you want to have the kit with two microphones, so a stereo set just like the others, this would be around 525 euros. Now, this is really going to be interesting to compare to all of these others, because considering that this set here for one microphone, you pay about 250 euros with those capsules, which means that this microphone right here is about eight times as expensive as the newer NW410 and about 10 times as expensive as the Behringer C2. Now, it's going to be really interesting to compare all of these microphones against each other, but also looking at them individually and how they sound. I'm really excited to have this opportunity and also give you information about whether or not it's actually worth it to spend the money for the Octava, or it might even be a better break-even point somewhere in between. Now, if this is as exciting for you as it is for me, please give this video a like and let me know that way. Also, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of those upcoming videos. And if you have any questions for me regarding these microphones and also other topics, please leave those in the comment section down below. I will be recording those other videos pretty soon, so maybe not with those comments already considered. However, I can always make a Q&A video coming after that also talking about these microphones. So please feel free to leave those comments down below. And with all of that said, I hope you have an amazing day. Stay tuned for those upcoming videos and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.